<laughs> Here we go. Hello. Welcome to my channel. This is the Show Love Tarot. I am Show Love, and I am going to do a reading for the sign of Cancer. I have been avoiding this reading. My sister's a Cancer, and I know what we're going through. So <laughs> I'm like, ah, I don't want to read this. But here we are. Um. <laughs> cancer, 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 cancer. The sign of cancer. Here we go. Thank you for uh, joining. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check out the links below. I really do appreciate it. Um, so I pre pulled some cards because my hands are still healing. And uh, I'm going in for my second surgery, so I'm trying not to use. I'm healing one and, you know, preserving the other. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Bless it be the fruit. So, I pre-pulled some cards. I shuffled and pulled some. And the first card that came out was um, from the healing deck, the shamanic healing deck that I just purchased. And I really like these cards. Um, but it was creativity in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Creativity in reverse. Um, so I take this as meaning uh, delayed gratification, okay? Something you have been waiting for, wanting, expecting, it has been delayed. It has been put on hold, right? Um, the card that clarified that was the masculine energy card, so it may have something to do with um, masculine energy. The emperor card came out later, so I'm thinking boss father figure, a person of authority, okay? The card that clarified the masculine energy card, which clarified the creativity in reverse, was the nine of cups. So there has been, in reverse, <laughs> so there has been this delayed gratification has been causing you, uh, that, cent that centered around the masculine energy, has been causing you some dissatisfaction, right? Uh, there, you're seeing this as a negative thing, right? Um, the um, and it and for some of you, a lot of you, it feels like some type of um, it's triggering some things for you guys, okay? Because I, the card that came out after the creativity card in reverse was the self love card in reverse. So for a lot of you, this is triggering. Um, your self-worth because abundance came out in reverse the three which is also for me a three of Pentacles um, a collaboration um, came out in reverse so there's the parts of you that don't feel worthy there's some thoughts that you're harboring that you don't feel worthy uh, for whatever it is that you're this gratification that you're expecting so this and it has to do with uh, a boss a father figure Authority figure uh, Some of you may know that my father passed away in December. So for my sister who's a cancer um, this is <laughs> Very true. She's probably never gonna <laughs> To be honest, she's never gonna Listen to this. She doesn't my mama will, hey mama. My sister, she ain't gonna listen to this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, those cancers out there that are dealing with something with your father, uh, father issues. So this is definitely, this is what I'm gonna title it, actually. Oh, Daddy issues. <laughs> Daddy issues. It's true. You know how I overcame my daddy issues. This is what I, this is what happened to me one day. I had a, a, aha moment an epiphany because i was like daddy issue daddy issue but i was like no i don't have daddy issues i have a daddy with issues <laughs> glory be to god i ain't taking on that responsibility that's his he needs to be held accountable that's his issues i have <laughs> my daddy has issues i don't have daddy issues 
He does. <laughs> or did. Glory to God. <laughs> did. Okay. You see where that got him. Six feet under. And on my altar. <laughs> on my ancestor's altar. Hey, daddy. <laughs> okay. You don't have this. You're masculine. That energy. Whatever it is. is a boss. They perhaps are projecting <laughs> those um, issues onto you. That could be possible too. I'm just saying, you know, because I know my sister's issue and she's a cancer. And I know I have a friend, you know, a couple of friends who are cancers and stuff. And then, you know, like this, <laughs> I get it. Like I, I see this playing out in their life. Some of you have daddy issues. Some of you <laughs> are dealing with masculine energy that has been um less than satisfactory okay for quite too long and you've been drained some of you just drained just tired just tired okay it's spent it's spent i'm spent you know you ever heard that phrase it's spent that's all i got okay some of you are at that stage you possibly are dealing with someone who has a low self-esteem. You're dealing with someone who's insecure, who is not playing fair. Uh, the Three of Pentacles, the Abundance cards in reverse. Someone's not being fair. And it's all centered around this emperor, right? This boss, this father figure, this authority, right? <laughs> all centered around... This, this 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 guy or gal right I want to say a in a lot of situations this is a faux boss a, 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 a wannabe a controller as it were right so like I said, some of you have the growth in reverse, the growth card in reverse. Some of you haven't grown. Some of this is, is a, a childhood issue. Maybe you're dealing with someone who has child is, childhood issues or people that have childhood issues and they haven't matured. And so you're dealing with very immature people. Maybe you're being immature. Whatever the case may be, cancer. I don't know. You put yourself where you go. Maybe you're the one that's being immature. Maybe you don't really grasp the whole picture because you don't have the maturity of the understanding to see what's going on for fully okay because you haven't dealt with your daddy issues or you have taken on your daddy's issues <laughs> glory be to god my god holy go <laughs> okay it's a burden for you right now you are not understanding because of that lack of, of discernment and, and, and maturity that there are unlimited possibilities. You're, able, you're unable to see through the illusions. And that's what's creating this heavy burden from you. You're, you're, able, you're not able to see. You're seeing this as a burden. You can't see this as a burden. You have to see this as... as um, Something faded, some a destiny, something that you're destined to do. I feel like a lot of you are being called to step into your feminine energy, your feminine creative energy, your feminine energy, your wholeness, your beingness, your power, your security, your wholeness as a creative being a female powerful graceful um whole being tapping into that ancient wisdom the card that clarified that tapping into that ancient wisdom of all the feminine energy, the matriarch energy that's stepping. It's the matriarch energy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's the matriarch energy that you're being asked to tap into. It's that position of the eldership, that wisdom, that discernment that puts you in a position, that puts you in a position of 
authority. You're now the emperor or the empress because you have put yourself in the in the position of being the one that is discerning and, and is utilizing the ancient wisdom of your ancestors and all that came before you. And and because you are in a situation of unequal giving take, someone who someone isn't it's not being balanced because because someone isn't willing to have an equal giving take and, and now you're having to defend yourself. I mean perhaps in the past you have been told that you that defending yourself is, you know, uh, oh gosh, bah, shut up. But defending yourself is ungodly or defending yourself is uh is unladylike. Defending yourself is, you know, whatever, whatever. Like there's some image or there's some judgment about um people women particularly in power <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking over there <laughs> i got a whole audience over there i you know, forgot all about y'all but <laughs> when you get in that vein you know what i mean you get in that vein i shot to hot so <laughs> some of you are defending your position some of you are being called to defend your position Grow weary not in well doing. Isn't that something that's something that says don't grow weary in well doing or something like that? Yeah, you gotta stand up for yourself, right? Yeah. Don't your don't let yourself be controlled. You take control, right? You're overseeing. You're you're walking away from some, from some partnerships and some agreements and stuff. You're walking away from them because now you realize that they were they were that you are um, on a different plane on a different level from the people that you were dealing with. They didn't value you as the Queen of Pentacles that you are, were, is, are Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so yes, there is a reunion reunion of the souls that happen when you take off of you uh, projections that other people place on you. Projections meaning that if you know their character flaws, they sort of pass them on to you, or projected them on to you, or created a situation where it presented you as that person with the character flaw. Uh, this may have, this has a lot to do with stability. There's a home involved. But I feel like a lot of you have to, cancers, you have to forgive yourself. You have to really forgive yourself for backing down, for being, you know, <laughs> I hate to say that. I hate when people say you soft, but you can't be so soft. Sometimes you gotta be ten toes down. You know what I mean. You gotta re you gotta stand up to injustice and stuff. You can't let things slide. You can't pretend like just oh well. No, you gotta fight for what's right. You gotta fight <laughs> for your right to party <laughs> or whatever it is. You gotta fight for your rights. You gotta stand up for what is due to you. You can't let yourself be hoodwinked or bamboozled and stuff. And if you're the one hoodwinking and bamboozled, then shame on you. Those chickens are coming home to roost. And you're the one who's gonna ask, have to ask for forgiveness. Someone's gonna be asking for forgiveness. <laughs> Either you're going to ask yourself for forgiveness for being bamboozled and hoodwinked and whatnot. Devaluing yourself and believing the, the, the value that others place on you. Or you're going to have to apologize and ask for forgiveness for doing that to others. Put yourself where you go, Cancer. I wish you well. Take care. Faces. <laughs>